So hey, what's going on guys? It's Honeybeasker here and welcome to Home Safety Hotline. A game where you have to report hazards to your clients. This video game this game really caught my eye when what you do for even for a horror game. Though when I watched a YouTuber play it, it didn't look all that horrifying, but it looked really interesting. So let's jump in. Here we are. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Oh, your supervisor's name is Carla Regina. She'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties. And we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with the 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, Home Safety Hotline Corporation. Okay. Oh, I guess we just start. It's Monday. Let's clock in. What's this? Bed bugs? Ooh. Bees? Hey, that's me. Don't wear it out. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and nice I'll be acting you. as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Yeah. Bees. Yeah, that's me right there, you guys. Black mold. Uh. Carpenter ants. Oh, we got a caller. How's the hotline? How may I help you? John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Okay. Please hold. Please hold. Oh. Gopher. Housefly. Cocker. Smells not to be kind of. Soon dropping such a coffee guys. Oh! So it's black molar cockroaches. Well, he said just looks like coffee to me. So let's submit that as. Bro. There you go, cockroaches. Okay, so that was first. First one. I hope I got that right, because. I don't know. Lots of entries. Oh, what were we gonna see here? Hello, home to do hotline voice. Help you. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Okay. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like. E e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Okay. Please hold. Please hold. Hmm. 
ee So it says she's coming from her attic and makes it sound like ee So it could be mice. Let me hear this. It could be the it could be these little guys right here. Mice are small worthless rodents commonly found in the household. It's definitely shown she's like making a squeaking noise. Hmm. It could be mice. The only clue is that when I looked at the raccoon, it says their tendency tendency to rummage through garbage cans or nests and attics. And it doesn't have a sound thing, so hmm. Let me do the let me do mice just to be just in case. Okay. What's the solution for these? Common remove methods for mice include the use of pesticides and Oh. I don't see the hotline, how may I help you? Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. Oh god. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. <laughs> you better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. All right, Hank, I got you. Please hold. Please hold. Hmm. So, about some crap in my yard. Huge piles of brown. I don't think he's talking about poo, but mole. Moles are small, dark brown, furry mammals with pointed pink muzzles that are known for living deep in burrows. The burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mouths. They are known to eat insects. Hmm. It could be a mole. He he's he talks about huge piles of brown, so. I think it's a mole. But wait, let me see. Gopher. Gophers are small, brown, furry animals with large front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on the property. Commonly damaging gardens. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go for the mole. Because. He said he's talking about huge piles of brown out there, and and the description of the mole says their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds, and they look like yeah. So my answer is moles. Don't kill them, sir. Cause yeah, it says warning. Never kill more. One can also utilize HSH's pest removal service. Yeah, they can be useful. I also had I also heard that these little guys have no eyes. That's kind of sad. I hope they survive well. Out in a dangerous jungle place. Home says, "How may I help you?" Segment here, just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't take prank calls. Goodbye.
that was weird. Not to mention his picture. His nose almost looked like a... What are those tiny fish called again? Artichokes? Anchovies? Something like that, I don't know. Home City Hotline, how may I help you? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? I'm sorry, sir. We can't. Please hold. Wait, we can? Okay. So, his kids... His kids complain about being too sick. And... Let me see. Um, the, the stress of is okay. Okay, I think it's got something to do with his kid. And, oh. I almost found, found, found tall grass. Well, the last option I heard was this one. Huh. Ugh. These things sound horrible. It could be a taste, but let me check something else just to be sure. What about black mold? No, it's a household fungus. Well, these don't... No, it cause people sick. I think Tex is the only one. So you got... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Also, don't make fun of me care for being too sick. Okay? It's freaking rude. Oh, actually at 50%. A what? Oh, 100%. So our shift has ended. Let's go. Let's see what's in our mailbox. Quit before it's... What? Uh... Okay. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too l late to quit freely. Trust me. It's Tuesday. Home safety hotline. Let's begin another day at our job. Alright, what's gonna happen next? Okay. Who is it? Hello. Oh, it's Carol. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. You have a good day, Carol. Oh, we got new... We got new entries, guys. Ooh, a bat? Ooh, I like bats. Bed teeth? The heck is that? Carbon monoxide? Hmm, okay. Cellar gross? Eww. Incoming call. Uh, sorry, I'm a... Uh, uh, 
calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Alright, we'll check it out. Please hold. Common hob? What the heck is this? Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substance found for dishes. Clean them in the process. They generally only came out come out at night. Ah. Hobbs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischief acts and metamorphosis. Metamorphosis? What does that mean? Either black mold or or carbon monoxide. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's. I think I'm gonna go with black mold. Cause I'm. Cause. The carbon monoxide said something about <coughs> dizziness, headaches. Black mold, however, meant something about allergic reactions, which is sneezing, I believe. So, yeah. Musty smell. Often report. More suspect by. S Seal poison will often report headaches, dizziness, or lethargy. I don't know what lethargy is. I'll say the hotline, how can I help you? Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to oh, I think robbery? I know what you have, miss. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Yeah. Please, I know what you have. See, common hobs are. It says here that common hobs are the most common species of hop. Oh, wait, no. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances. Found for and dishes. Clean them in the process. They generally come out at night. See, she says something about how thieves that clean. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go to find a place about spotless. So, you have a common hob, miss. There's nothing to worry about. They're basically like... Free cleaning service? Yeah. Like, just imagine having one of these things around. Like, you just toss... Can just toss sweets on the floor for this guy to eat. Saying, hey man, you're welcome to uh stay however you like. So yeah. Oh. There you go. Yo, Buzz Goober here. Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. We haven't done a thing about it because you're a prank caller. Fracture hob? Ah. 
Also, the hotline, how may I help you? I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help okay. me, please! Alright, miss, chill out. Please hold. I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling on the walls. I think I found teeth marks on the bed. Okay. This is interesting. I don't know what I can do, but... Uh... Not marks. She said teeth marks. Um... I don't know. I think... Uh... I don't want to get this one wrong. She, s she said teeth marks. And the says... So I think I'll have to go with mice. I'm gonna get fired after this, aren't I? I mean, what else could I have done? She hear she hear something crawling in the walls, and carpenter ants are so small they don't make a, enough noise to make that kind of noise or some. I don't know. I was at the hotline. How may I help you? Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Hmm. Please hold. Sounds like scratching or something, it's real quiet. Huh. Fate. Carbon ants make a faint rustling sound. It's real quiet, but there's only some kind of pest in my walls. I sell all kinds of traps. Thought one worked for a while, but then started to use it. It hasn't seen visible damage yet, or droppings or whatever. Hmm. I think it could be Carpenter Ants, because he said, uh, it sounds like scratching or something, it's real quiet, but there's definitely some kind of pest in my walls. And Carpenter, it says in the description, these guys, people report a faint rustling sound coming from the walls. So, I think it's Carpenter Ants. my job after those two. I wonder how much I'm going to have to do this. That scared me. Do you guys have Whoa. security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Please okay. hold. Going through all my stuff at night, I know it's... Wait. I wonder, is the desk hob a lot like the common hob? Desk hobs are a species of hobs that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They really like to tie their homes and frequently sort and all materials and desks to their liking. Oh! They're physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. I don't know what that means, but that's interesting. They, so they like to organize stuff. I know what you have, dude, but you're gonna regret calling this number. Well, unless you don't like to organize yourself, which is 
sounds really messy to me. Like, ooh, double hundred percent on both days. Let's cock out. It's too late for you now. Okay. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Uh-huh. Wait. Like there? Okay. Alright, you guys. Uh, I think that's all for today of home safety hotline this is a pretty interesting game but it could be hard depending on what you try to do and anyway, guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like leave a comment don't forget to share it subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye